Hello guys, welcome back to the second part of the video dedicated to the song we created on the previous episode, inspired to Enemy by Believe in Dragons. If you miss it, just click on the link here in the corner, there are a lot of useful stuff going on and maybe that's a good way to start this 2023. In this episode, the voice, how to treat it, what to do and not to do, audio manipulation. We will set some notes at the proper pitch, volume and tempo using the Vari audio function and some other hot features. The ground vocals. We will take advantage of the audio alignment function to align multiple tracks and I'll show you how to pan and place them properly into the mix. Creative effects. How to make the voice a little bit more interesting, diversifying it according to its role in the song. Let's get started! No, nobody a huge thank you to Andy Martin for this powerful and beautiful voice. He's a Cubase user as well, so sharing this project was very easy and fun at the same time. He recorded many tracks and background vocals, so I had a wide range of choice to select and combine them in the way I wanted. First of all, I sent him the reference vocals, the bass, the lyrics and the midi tracks of the melody just to be more detailed. In my opinion, this is a very important aspect of the production. The more you care about the references, the easier will be working with professionals, especially in online collaboration, to avoid multiple changes and the so-called ping-pong effect. Ok, at this stage I don't need the references anymore, so I'm gonna disable and hide them. As you can see, we have three lead tracks. This is very common, especially when the singer records multiple stems or even if he wants to double some parts. What I'm going to do is to move all the parts I need on the main track and settle the others on the lead 3 track. See how the snap zero crossing function is doing its job pretty well. That's very helpful, especially while editing. See that step? Nice. I'm going to move this part on the lead track too, because maybe I will put some special effects on it. I edit this as well. I don't need this track anymore, so right click, deactivate it and hide. Let's focus on the lead voice. I want to attenuate the speaks to make the dynamic a little bit more uniform. This will help the compressor to work better and in a closer range. I don't want to kill the dynamic at all, and I will be very careful to respect the singer vocal style as well. But scorching blades are ready to pierce the air and hit hard. Same process for the refrain. And the lead too. Ok, maybe this is a little bit tedious, but I guarantee you that this is the best thing you can do for your lead vocal track. Now that the dynamics are under control, I want to start shaping the voice, so I'm gonna add frequency to it. But how to set it properly? Check this out. These are the voice features divided by frequency area. So for example, if I want to add more body, I will increase between 100 and 300 Hz. Or maybe I want to attenuate some sibilance frequencies, so I will lower between 5 and 8 kHz, and so on. Of course, this is not the magic formula. A recording depends on many factors as the vocal timbre, performance and style, the microphone and even the hardware use, and last but not least, the audio engineer. So be wise and use your ears the most. First, let's make a low cut on 80 Hz. More body. Once in life you open your arms to the ocean. Feel the thrill, the breeze that steers in motion. Once in life you open Check the difference. Once in life you once in life you Once in life you open your arms. Once in life you open your arms. Let's try to spot the boxy region. 
According to the chart, it must be around 350 and 600 Hertz. So what I'm going to do is to set the queue to a mid level and explore the area. I'm going to overdo it so the change will be more noticeable. Here, let's lower it a bit. Once in life you open your arms to the ocean Now I want to increase the mid-range by a touch open your arms to the ocean Don't make dramatic changes at this stage We just want to give a color to the voice Once in life you open your arms to the ocean Let's look for annoying frequencies in this area once in life you open your arms to the ocean Feel the thrill, the breeze that steers in motion Well, this is not a hiss, but it's a bit awkward anyway, so I lower it by a touch. Last, I want to boost a bit the A region. Once in life you open your arms to the ocean Like that. Let's check the differences. Once in life you open your arms to the ocean Once in life you open your arms to the ocean Once in life you open your arms to the once in life you open your arms to the ocean Okay, that's a good start point. Now I'm gonna add a very light compression. So I use the tube compressor. Recall the preset male vocal one and set the Once gain back to zero. Life, you open your arms to the ocean. Feel the thrill, the breeze that steers in motion. For the reverb, I use a reverence with the LA Studio B preset as a sand effects. In order to set it properly, I'm going to exclude the dry signal by setting the sand as pre-fader and lowering the volume all the way down. Once in life you open your arms to the ocean. Now I can adjust the settings. Time at 70%, like this. Once I'm done, I can set the sand back to post fader and raise the volume. Once in life you open your arms to the ocean. Let me add a touch of pre-delay. Let's compare the dry version. Once in life you open your arms to the We do it. Once in life you open your arms to the ocean. I notice that some words are not on tempo. Let's fix them. I activate the Vari Audio and slightly move this guy. Once in life you open your arms to the ocean. Maybe this one as well. Done. Once in life you open your arms to the ocean. Now I want to fill the gap between the verses with a subtle and colorful echo. So I'm going to set another effects track, insert an effects chain on it, and let the voice control it via the side chain. Okay, maybe this sound weird now, but follow me and I promise that the picture will be more clear in few steps. I create a new effects channel, I want a long tail reverb, so I load the preset Plate Vintage from Roomworks. Exclude the frequencies I don't want. Add a quadra phase and choose Amp Simulator. And last, the vintage compressor with a high ratio. I slowly increase the input and decrease the output. Okay, sounds cool, but it's not exactly what I want. The reverb has to play just in the empty spaces between the phrases. There are several ways to achieve this result. As I said before, I'm going to control it via sidechain. And here comes the cool part. I create a copy of the lead voice, activate the sidechain on the compressor, 
and in the send slot I select sidechain fx2. I want it to be independent from the channel volume, so I'm going to switch it in pre mode. In order to hear just the reverb chain, I'm going to lower the volume all the way down. Okay, let's see if it works. Remember, you should hear the reverb just at the end of the phrase. Once in life you open your arms to the ocean Feel the thrill, the breeze that steers emotion Let's That's exactly what I want. Of course, there are other ways to achieve the same result, for example by simply automating the sound effects control, or even by using the Mitigate plugin. Let's give it a ride with the bass. Once in life you open your arms to the ocean Feel the thrill, the breeze that steers in motion But scorching I'm gonna slightly move ahead this part But scorching blades are red System be okay now. I don't need the trigger track on the other parts of the song, so I'm gonna delete it. No, nobody will come. There will be no god, not a foothold to climb on. I tweak the phrases where no. it's needed, keeping those in the more natural way possible. Look how easy it is to handle the vary audio, limiting the pitch correction by moving these little arrows. One of the functions that I love the most is the MIDI input that allows me to control the note pitch by pressing the corresponding key on my keyboard. Check this but, out. But, 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 but. Most of the time I like to tune just the central part of the note, leaving the attack and release out of any correction to make it sound more natural. No, nobody will come. And of course I can tweak the attack and release of each syllable. Be very patient, work in details, and the results will come. No, nobody will come. There will be no God, not a foothold to climb on. Fight, it'll be the last round. Feel the adrenaline of this body break down. This body break down. Let's create some interesting effects for the chorus tail. I select these parts, then Ctrl and right click, and Bounce Select Event and Replace. This will create a new audio file. Double click for the Way Editor. This time I will make more dramatic changes because this is a creative effect. I will tune every note perfectly. And now I'm going to play with the format, setting a different value for each note. So select a note, change the shift format value, and next one. Format, shift value, and so on. Okay, before any compressor plugin, I like to take care of the dynamics manually, so I'm gonna set all this note on the same dynamic. Press 8 for the pen tool and draw. Very easy. Let's process. I set a hard compression. A quarter fuzz with a soft tube saturation on the mid high. A flanger. Oh, 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 oh. Remove the unwanted frequencies. Set a delay to create some movement. And the limiter that will compress the wool chain. Oh. Down. To complete the refrain, I need to make one last step by adding two more plugins on this part as direct offline processing. Hit F7, the offline processing menu will appear. I click on plugin and add quadrophase. 
Now I want to add frequency two and remove the alternative frequencies. And try to create a kind of a radio effect by boosting the mid range. See how the direct offline processing affects the waveform. That's funny, isn't it? Of course, I'm going to adjust the dynamics in the way we saw before. And this is the result. Let's have a look at the background vocals. Nobody will come There will be no God, not a foothold to climb on Fight, it'll be the last round Feel the adrenaline of this bloody breakdown Not bad, this sounds very precise and naturally aligned The first thing I want to do is to lower a bit these parts Okay, maybe I want to level a bit this attack Hit hate for the pen tool and just draw the dynamic Let's try to align the background vocals with the lead track. First of all, I'm going to bounce these tracks. Menu Audio, Bounce Selection. Same for the parts, but this time I'm going to use the shortcut. In my case, Control Shift B. Let's have a quick listen. But scorching blades are ready to be. Ok, I'm pretty happy with that. Now the alignment. Menu Audio, Audio Alignment Panel. I'm going to select the source track that will drive the alignment of the other tracks. In my case, the lead vocal track. And click plus. Now the target tracks. Of course I can select them all. They will appear right here clicking on this little arrow. I want the words to help triggering the alignment and furthermore I'm gonna lower the alignment to get a more natural result. 85% is okay. Click here. Boom! Very easy. Let's see the result. But scorching blades are ready to pierce the air and hit hard! Amazing! Let's do the same with the refrain. First, I'm gonna bounce the lead voice, open the audio alignment panel, select the reference, click on plus, the target, and align. No, nobody will come. There will be no God, not a foothold to climb on. Fight, it'll be the last round. Feel the adrenaline of this bloody breakdown. I am really impressed about this feature. Very nice. Now that everything is properly set up, I want to pan the background vocals. I'm not going to push the pan too far away because I don't want to lose power and presence. Also consider that on the final stage of the mix we'll put a stereo enhancer on the master channel that will push the sides even further. So better not set extreme values for now. Let's check the difference between the mono and the stereo out. Now I want to take care of the shouts on the refrain. Oh! Maybe you notice that they are not perfectly aligned. So, double click to get into the editor and move the start point to the first transient. It should be around here. Hit enter to exit from the wave editor. Now hit the letter Q and the part will be quantized to the grid. Very easy. All you have to do now is to use the audio alignment function as we saw before to align the underneath parts. I want this voice to work as a rhythmic element more than a typical background vocals. 
So now it makes sense to push them far away from the center. Now that all the vocal tracks are set up, I'm going to create a group track for each section in order to have a quick control on them. So select the tracks, right click and add group channel to select the channels. Same for the other tracks. Let me organize the mixer. I prefer to have the effects and group tracks on the left side. So I move on the visibility tab, zones and click on the small dots. Much better. Let's process. The stack to Corey first. I want a hard compression and a long reverb. So I use vintage compressor with the ratio 20 and a hard attack. I increase the input a bit. Okay. I'm going to keep just the low mid and mid frequencies. Done. For the background vocals, first I want to try to spot an annoying frequency around 500 Hz. Here we go. Lower it a bit. And the low cut around 100 Hz. Now a warm compression with the tube compressor. I load the preset male vocal 2 and increase the drive by a half. I want to further enhance the high mid, so I load quadra fuzz. Set the tube and increase the drive. This is the before. And after. Very nice. A good way to balance the lead with the background vocal track is to set this one all the way down, then slowly increase it until when you reach a good level. Now I can turn on the bass and make more tweaks. Let's give a ride to the project and make more adjustments. Once in life you open your arms to the ocean Feel the thrill, the breeze that steers in motion A scorching place already To pierce the air and hit hard No, nobody will come There will be no God, not a foothold to climb on Fight, it'll be the last round Feel the adrenaline of this body break down I want to create more rhythm in the refrain and I'm going to do that in a creative way. I duplicate the lead voice and name it Lead Echo. Then I add the Mod Machine plugin. Set the delay 1.8, Spatial 100%, Drive 80, no, nobody and Mix 95%. This will work as a pad sound, filling the empty spaces between the phrases. Let's give it a try. No, nobody will come. There will be no God, not a foothold to climb on. Nice. And with the other tracks? No, nobody will come. There will be no God, not a foothold to climb on. Fight, it'll be the last round. Feel the adrenaline of this body break down. Not bad. It's very subtle, but that's exactly what I want. There is a little improvement that you can achieve by making more room for the lead voice. You can observe that it's mainly focused between 500 and 2 kHz. Take a look at the background vocals now. It's pretty the same, right? When these tracks play together, the prominent frequencies will be summed enhancing and balancing the mid frequencies. Of course, I don't want this. 
So I can use a compressor that will be triggered by the lead voice in the way that any time the lead voice plays, it will compress the mid-range frequencies of the background vocal track. Check this out. I select the background vocal track and put frequency 2 at the end of the chain. No, Lower a little bit die. here. There will be no God, no. Now activate we'll the sidechain. Turn on the dynamic and on the sidechain panel select sidechain 1. I move on the lead voice channel and in the center slot I select vocal background sidechain 1. Turn it on. And now the lead voice is triggering the compressor and the background vocals. Let's play with it. No, nobody will come. There will be no Let's find the right threshold level. I'm on. Fight, it'll be the last round. Feel the adrenaline of this bloody breakdown. No, nobody will come. There will be no God, not a foothold to climb on. Can you spot the difference? Fight, it'll be the last round. Feel the adrenaline of this bloody breakdown. No, nobody will come. There will be no God, not a foothold to climb on. Fight, it'll be the last round. We can make a full improvement by removing these frequencies just from the center Feel and not the from the side. So I go here down. and select mid side. No, nobody will come. There will be no God, not a foothold. Let me be more extreme on. just for the purpose of this nobody tutorial. Will come. There will be no God. As I remove the frequency from the center, the signal will be unbalanced on the sides. Okay, this is a good compromise. Pretty satisfied with the result, but before having a final listen to the full song, I want to optimize the project. So I open the pool. These are all the files recorded and imported by the user or generated by Cubase, for example, when you bounce some parts. Sometimes I like to work with the stereo files even if the source is mono. So what I can do is right click and select Convert Files. Here I can change the sample rate, the bit depth. The channels in case I want to switch from mono to stereo, the file format, or even to replace or generate a new file. You probably noticed that not all the audio files are in use. Let's clean up this mess. Right click again, remove unused. There are no more projects where these files are shared, so I can move them into the trash. Here we go. And then right click. Empty trash. This is the last chance to keep this file, but I choose Erase. Okay, let's have a final listen to the project. Once in life you open your arms to the ocean Feel the thrill, the breeze that steers in motion pretty happy with the final result. Of course, this is just a basic picture. More improvements can be done, but I hope you will find in this tutorial some interesting hints to make new amazing project on this 2023 and create like a pro.